ओके वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ न्यू सेगमेंट दैट इज रेस्पिरेटरी डिसऑर्डर्स इन यूनिट्स ओके रेस्पिरेटरी डिसऑर्डर्स इन यूनिट्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इन दिस इज रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस सिंड्रोम आर डी एस रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस सिंड्रोम ओके सो वट इज रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस सिंड्रोम इन यूनिट इट इज कॉल्ड एज एच एम डी और हेलिन मेम्ब्रेन डिसऑर्डर इट इज कॉल्ड एच एम डी और हेलिन मेम्ब्रेन डिसऑर्डर ओके एंड इट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस इन अ प्री टर्म यूनिट फाइन इट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन cause of uh, respiratory distress in a preterm neonate fine so what happens in rds or hmd there is basic defect uh, is there that there is deficiency of matured surfactant right so defect is uh, deficiency of matured surfactant fine so let us talk about the composition of surfactant right composition what are the thing that constitute the surfactant the first is dppc uh dye wait 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 dye palmitte oil phosphatidyl choline it is also called or lecithin right the second is phosphatidyl glycerol phosphatidyl glycerol the third is cholesterol and the fourth is surfactant protein surfactant protein a b c and d there are four types of surfactant protein out of which the most important is b fine because of the uh, deficiency of this uh, surfactant protein um b and there is some problem that uh, uh if i tell you it is called neonatal pulmonary alveolar proteinosis right neonatal pulmonary alveolar the child in this condition also the child presents with a uh, respiratory distress but this distress is uh, not subsided by the uh, uh, surfactant therapy fine now talking about the synthesis of surfactant uh -huh. synthesis of uh, surfactant so its synthesis synthesis stra starts in the fetal lung in the uh, 20th week 20th week of gestation in fetal lung right and it starts begin to appear in the amniotic fluid amniotic fluid may appearance will be seen in uh, 28 to 32nd week of gestation fine mature surfactant in adequate amount is present matured surfactant matured surfactant in adequate amount it is seen after 35 week of gestation fine so if a child is coming uh 
beyond uh, below 35 week of gestation with respiratory distress we might be thinking about uh, this hmd okay now what is the functions of surfactant functions of surfactant first of all what it does it reduces the surface tension of the alveoli right it reduces the surface tension of uh, alveoli which prevents the collapse collapse prevents the collapse of the alveoli right collapse during expiration because during inspiration the air is gushing in and the alveoli are inflated but when we expire uh, an alveoli which is not having this surfactant will tend to collapse right now let's talk about some pathophysiology of uh, rds patho because of the of the defect of uh, what is the main problem defect of uh, matured surfactant right there is defect of matured surfactant it leads to alveolar collapse suppose this these are the alveoli right these are the alveoli because of the uh, um, defect of matured surfactant when we expire when we expire these alveoli collapses right and when there there is collapse there is diffuse alveolar damage diffused alveolar damage and what happens because there is damage to this alveoli there is accumulation of interstitial fluid interstitial edema is seen right and when this whole process takes in there is fibrin deposition right and uh, because a kind of inflammatory reaction has set in there is eosinophilic hyaline membrane appearance on lung biopsy so when we do the lung biopsy we see eosinophilic hyaline membrane eosinophilic hyaline membrane on lung biopsy so talking about the clinical features how a child will present when we are saying that it is having respiratory distress syndrome first of all a preterm preterm baby the child will be preterm less than 35 week of gestation presenting with uh, respiratory of course it is understood soon after birth right and there are typical typical x ray or say chest x ray findings right what we see in the chest x ray of a child presenting with respiratory distress syndrome so this is the this is a chest x ray so you will find that there are less black areas less black areas right because there is reduced air the more the air inside it the more black it will appear and the radioluminescence will increase right so because of decrease air and this uh, appearance is uh, typically called as ground uh, ground glass haziness it is seen in multiple conditions right whenever there is decrement in the filling of the alveoli or any condition in which maybe there is a uh, you know, fluid in the alveoli or the alveoli are not getting ventilated properly in all these condition a, a ground glass haziness will be seen glass haziness of lung right there is presence of air bronchograms right air bronchograms air bronchograms will be seen on both side of the lung right and then certain there are certain nodules 
दे आर कॉल्ड रेटिकुलो नोडुलर और रेटिकुलो ग्रैनुलर अपीरेंस ऑफ द लॉक दिस इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ आर डी एस रेटिकुलो नोडुलर और रेटिकुलो ग्रैनुलर अपीरेंस ऑफ लंग राइट वट एल्स यू विल सी यू विल सी दैट देर इज क्राउडिंग ऑफ रिप्स क्राउडिंग ऑफ रिप्स विच इज सजेस्टिव ऑफ लंग कोलेप्स देर इज क्राउडिंग ऑफ लिप्स रिप्स विच इज सजेस्टिव ऑफ लंग कोलेप्स ओके सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द डायग्नोसिस डायग्नोसिस ऑफ आर डी एस डायग्नोसिस ऑफ आर डी एस इज मेनली बेस्ड ऑन द फर्स्ट थिंग विल बी द क्लिनिकल फीचर द चाइल्ड विल बी अ प्री टर्म विद रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस एंड टिपिकल चेस्ट एक्सरे फाइंडिंग राइट चेस्ट एक्सरे फाइंडिंग एज आई डिस्कस विल बी फाइंडिंग ऑल दिस फीचर्स इन द चेस्ट एक्सरे ऑफ द बेबी एंड देर आर सर्टन वेज टू डिटेक्ट the adequacy of surfactant right in the amniotic fluid if a child is just born what we do so detect adequacy of surfactant in amniotic fluid this is very important thing to understand right the first is ls ratio lecithin upon sphingomyelin ratio if it is more than 2 ratio 1 the surfactant is mature right the second is shake test shake test what we do we take a a test tube with uh, ethyl alcohol and amniotic fluid okay with ethyl alcohol and amniotic fluid when we shake the test tube if there is presence of more than one ring of bubbles bubbles on surface it is called it is suggestive that the surfactant is mature right what are the other things that we can do the third one that we can do is phosphatidyl glycerol level estimation it is very uh, i mean phosphatidyl glycerol level is very specific right it is one of the most reliable things to do for uh, estimating the or for understanding the maturity of the surfactant right phosphate gel glycerol level and the fourth thing we can add is nile blue sulfatase test nile blue sulfatase test right these are the thing to detect the maturity of lung in a child using the amniotic fluid right fine how will you treat a patient with uh, treatment so first of all whenever a baby is born with respiratory distress we will give the supportive treatment right supportive treatment we will admit the baby in the nicu we will mo- mo- maintain the iv fluids we will monitor monitor vitals right temperature glucose heart rate and all those things if the patient is uh, coming with uh, mild rds okay if the patient is coming with mild rds what we do is uh, cpap right continuous positive alveolar pressure so that the alveoli doesn't collapse even at the time of expiration right and if the baby is presenting with moderate to severe rds moderate to severe rds what we are going to do if it is present with moderate to uh, severe rds we will be giving intratracheal surfactant therapy tracheal surfactant therapy right plus respiratory support that will include cpap right 
and mechanical ventilation right now this is something which can also be prevented right for the prevention of rds prevention of rds so how how can we prevent rds in a baby so prevention uh, this intervention should be done before the birth of the baby so what we give is antenatal corticosteroids antenatal corticosteroids right so the indication indication is all pregnant mother pregnant mother who are expected to deliver who are expected to deliver between 24 to 34 week of gestation right now there are two drugs and i'll tell you the method how to remember the doses right one is betamethasone right and the another is dexa right both of these are given in the form of injection right see in beta we have b 2 dexa 4 okay the total dose is 24 mg for both of these okay so 2 into 12 equals to 24 fine it means two doses two doses are given 12 mg giving 24 mg in total right and 12 hours sorry 24 hours apart fine 4 into 6 equals to 24 4 doses right 6 mg 12 hours apart fine now this beta methasone it is slightly more neuroprotective right it is a bit more neuroprotective and it is very costlier right dexamethasone it is preferred by the government of india it is recommended by recommended by government of india because it is cheap now let us put some points about the uh, beneficial effects of antenatal steroids beneficial effects of uh, antenatal steroids the first thing that we have to understand just now we studied is rds it prevents it helps in the prevention of rds second intra intraventricular hemorrhage right the third thing is necrotizing enterocolitis we will be talking about it later the fourth thing that we can uh, see is uh, overall the neonatal mortality is reduced neonatal mortality so this was all about the respiratory distress syndrome and the use of uh, steroid in the prevention of uh, respiratory distress syndrome thank you